Hi guys, you want to make some dandelion tincture? Come on, I'll show you how to make it. Gotta pick up, the, gotta pick the dandelions. So I've got my scissors. I just cut them off the stem. Okay, so I have them all. I have them all picked. I cut them off pretty short, pretty close to the flower. And you can wash these off if you want to. I don't. I kind of flick the flower with my finger before I cut them. Once in a while you're going to get a bug or something in here. That's okay because you're going to be covering this with either uh, some type of a high proof alcohol, at least 80 proof, like with a vodka or a um, oh, vodka or rum. Even you can use um, a real nice high quality apple cider vinegar if you're worried about the alcohol. So what you're going to do is um, cover this up. Okay, so a lot of people ask what a tincture is. A tincture is a, is a kind of an herbal prep um, in which the um, minerals and essential oils of the plant are extracted into the solvent. And the vodka is going to be the solvent. Um, you can use um, vodka, brandy, like I said, and um, a really nice um, apple cider vinegar, and even um, vegetable glycerin. Um, the apple cider vinegar and the glycerin is used mostly if you want to do um, preparations for kids. The um, a single dose of the tincture is about the same effect as a cup of herbal tea. It's just more concentrated and it absorbs into your body more easily um, via through the alcohol or the other solvent that you use. So what you're going to need is the pint jar, fill it full of your dandelions. This is how you make all tinctures, not just dandelion. Um, so you're going to put them in the jar and you're going to get a lid the seal on the lid and um, so then you're going to start putting on the vodka so let's say um, regardless what kind of alcohol it has to be at least 80 proof um, to prevent any mildewing of the plant material so a hundred proof bottle is going to give you a 50 percent alcohol rate um, if you can get your hands on the hundred proof some people even use Everclear that that stuff will kill you um, and the tincture, once it's all together, you can keep it on your shelf for seven to ten years in a cool, dark place. Some people chop up the flowers or put them in their uh, pestle, hit them with a pestle and mortar and uh, smash them up a little bit. I don't. I just let it sit in there. So you're going to pack the uh, jar about three quarters of the way full. Don't pack it too tightly. Um, it should just fill the jar well, just like this. Lots of air space. Um, you want to make sure that you leave a bit of headroom uh, because you need to cover the plants completely with alcohol. No part of the plant should be exposed to the air. So this is where you go. So um, for dry herbs, you want to fill the pint, the jar halfway and then alcohol over that. So let's see, let's get this going. So generally, the ratio of fresh herbs to alcohol is one to two. So one part plant, two part alcohol. If you're using dry herbs, uh, to alcohol, it's one to four or one to five. Make sure you labor your jars and you let them sit five to six weeks. So let's cover this up. A lot of people say what a waste of booze, but I don't drink, so whatever. So you want to make sure it's covered. Like I said, no part of the plant. Let me get a spoon here. So no part of the plant should be subjected to the air. It all has to be contained in the alcohol. There we go. And if you want to stir it up a little bit, you can. So during the first week, you're going to keep the jar in a cool, 
a dark place. And then during the first week, you're going to give the jar a little shake every day um, to move the alcohol around, make sure you get all the plants. And then after that, you just let it sit in the cupboard for five to six weeks. So, there we go. And this is how you make a tincture. So let me get my pen. So I'm going to put the date on. That's today. Today is the 26th, so I'm going to put 4, 26, 18, dandelion. There you go. And that's it. And then after it's gone, the four or five weeks, I mean five or six weeks, then you strain it and you twist the cheesecloth to get all the juice out. And what you have left, you get rid of the flowers. I always give them to my chickens. And then what you have left is pure, beautiful tincture. And that's what you can use to make your salves and your hand creams and balms and stuff. So this video today was just learning how to make dandelion tincture. Got any questions, shoot me an email. Have a cool day.